my goodness, guess what? The most craziest thing just happened. We've been waiting to buy this bad boy right here, except he's been like 40 something dollars. And here at Didi's discount, $15? It's still 40 something at Toys R Us. So, hey, we're gonna get it? Yeah. We're gonna get it. Stay tuned. Welcome back, friends, to Vincent Gigi's Super Channel G. Today we have the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Turtle Mech. This is from Mega Blocks, also known now as Mega Constructs. And we've been waiting to do this for so long. We've been waiting for this to go on sale since forever. I can't tell you, every single time we go to Toys R Us, we check the Mega Constructs aisle to see if the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles are on sale. And this guy, this box. And this guy, Toys R Us, costs about $43, I believe. 40 something dollars. And today we found it at Dee Dee's discount at $14.99, about a third the price. Now, you're gonna wanna go to Dee Dee's discount if you have one where you are and pick this up right away because I've only seen like one or two per store. If you happen to see the turtle mech on the show, it's awesome. There are three episodes in particular that we were able to see it in action. There was one where it was fighting this mutant shredder thing. Another one where it was fighting Lord Dreg in his spaceship. And another one that was fighting this huge Krangbot. But um, in every single one of them, it was super awesome to see. It's huge. The turtles were in here. Now, it's probably not as big as it would be to scale as a cartoon, but nonetheless, this is amazing. It looks amazing. It's got all this functionality. It's got all these points of articulation, and that's what we're going to be talking about. So, guys, I can't stress how amazing this toy is. All the points of articulation and the fact that it also becomes a drivable vehicle. So, let's take a closer look. All right, so first off, it does come with three characters. It comes with this Mikey, who has a button for this karate action. Look at that. It's got this button for this karate action. And it comes with two Krang droids. This one traditional Krang droid, of course, with removable Krang brain. Look at that. And then a flying Krang droid, also with a removable brain. They have, they're super great. The only thing I wish was different on the Krang droids is the head moves good. The arms only move like a clock, back and forth, and the legs are the same way. I would love to be able to like twist it at the hip so it can go side to side, perhaps have knees that bent, perhaps elbows, but it'd be awesome if the arms would move to the side. They don't move to the side, they only move forward and back. And that prevents us from aiming this weapon in other directions or be like have more dynamic poses. Nonetheless, the detail on these Krang droids are awesome. And I know this is probably not common, but our Mikey character, for whatever reason, his mask doesn't stay on. It's like too loose. So I guess we can apply some glue so it stays on, but every couple seconds it seems like we're knocking it off. Now that's probably not common. I'm sure if you get your own turtle mech, the mic that comes with it, the mask will probably stay on. But in any event, this Mikey looks super cool. He even has some sort of like Krang splatter on him. And the fact that he's got this button here with his with his nunchuck moving. Check this out. Ah. There goes the mask again. This in and of itself was awesome. To be able to kind of just beat up on this Krang bot. Look at that. All right, so that's cool. Now let's take a closer look at the turtle mech. The turtle mech is amazing. Look, we have shoulders that move all the way around on both of them. And of course they also go up and down as they spin. It's kind of click into place. Super awesome there. So of course we can have just about 
any pose because the elbows also bend in and out and there's no wrist but it doesn't need it the fingers do move these three there's no thumb so it doesn't really grab anything but it can definitely help hold something this arm over here spins and of course if you remember it'll it'll it can grab it can blast it can do all sorts of great things look at this so that's pretty awesome and it spins really cool too so open up this claw right here that's really awesome here the neck has two points that bend the neck has two joints one at the base of the neck and one at the base of the head and then the mouth can definitely do some chomping action here so all the way up all the way back and chomps unfortunately the head does not go side to side but that's all right that is great movement right there now as far as the legs right here at the hips they do go all the way back all the way forward now you're not gonna want them to move too much that way but it also has knee action oops I'm starting to knock stuff off but it definitely has knee action here which makes it really cool so the knees bend all the way any way you want them to so you can technically have them like kneeling or crouching now you're probably not gonna want to but you can look at that that's kinda cool I guess so if it's like trying to crouch to reach for something That's really awesome. Look at that. That looks super cool. And then, of course, it has a little area right here where these pipes are gonna hold your turtle in place. Now your turtle, you're gonna have to sit them down a little bit. Bend the legs kind of forward. And for now, I'd say pick the arms up. And then once you put them in place, right here, oops close the rail right there and he just kind of chills there in place wow okay just a warning some of these parts aren't as secure as you'd like them to unfortunately but you know because of how awesome it looks I'm gonna forgive it all right so there we got Mikey he's right there in our turtle mech and look at this great action pose And right here we can be and all right looks like we destroyed all the crank bots have to pop the toes back on the place because they got a little too crazy I'm gonna straighten the legs back out we can stand all the way back up again Tell me that wasn't awesome. All of that was awesome. Now, with this turtle mech, some of the pieces aren't as sturdy on there as you might want, but you know, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that because of how amazing it looks. Another thing that's really cool about this turtle mech, it comes with a couple of extra pieces so that we can turn it into a vehicle mode. So what you're gonna wanna do for vehicle mode is you are gonna pop the arms off you're also going to pop the legs off, right where they connect. And take Mikey out of here. Okay. Next, you're going to pop the wheels off of the feet. Have all four of them. Set the legs aside. You can leave these yellow pieces right here in the feet. What you're going to do is you're going to use the spare yellow pieces, the ones that are longer, and you're going to pop those right in place right here. On two of the wheels, you only have two and you only need two, and you're going to pop those where the shoulders would be. Now the other two wheels, you're going to pop on the back. And remember, the inside of the wheel has words, the outside has this right here. It has the design. 
So pick the head up, have it straight like so. And you're gonna twist the these rails right here out, okay? And then you're gonna spin the little parts so that they look like mufflers. So spin them like this. And once you spun them like that, then push them back out here. And then just kind of angle them out like this. And it'll look like they're mufflers. You're probably gonna have to spin one in and one out. And then just angle them out. And look how amazing that looks. Okay, same thing with these two. Spin them kind of opposite of each other. That way they don't hit each other. So like this, this one out and this one out this way. Boom. And there we go. Now, one thing I did forget to mention earlier is that on this arm, you do have this projectile weapon and it does move because it's got a pivot point right here. And here, once this projectile, this purple projectile is here, this missile, all you gotta do is click it here and it takes off. So what you're gonna wanna do is just kinda twist that off from the base, remove this little shield, and you're gonna put this as the weapon right here. And you can turn it so that it can angle up and down or move side to side and you can still fire that off. So from here, Mikey can just kind of chill right here. It doesn't really show him standing in there, but because if you stand him in there, it's gonna kind of smash into his face right here. So what you can do is just kind of, in the picture, show him just kind of casually sitting right here, putting his arm right there, it's up to you. And there you go. Mikey can be super cool about it. Look at that, look how awesome that looks. And guess what? It actually rolls. So it's pretty awesome. And I will say this, it could roll a little bit better because some of the bottom touches the ground. Just be prepared for that. Because there's a lot of stuff going on down here. Looks like it rolls a little bit better if you remove the power source, but still looks super cool. What do you think? I think it looks awesome. All right. So we're gonna pop these wheels back off. Move these front yellow pieces, put those back away with our parts that we need to keep for later. Pop these wheels back onto the feet. And we can put the arms and legs back on. And then we're gonna turn these back in, twist them opposite ways, so that way we can get our rails going again. You'll we'll see that quickly, you can get the mech going back from vehicle mode. Pop the legs right back on. And then we'll get our arms right back on here. And let's put our gun right here back on the side. Pop it right back on there. And let's get this shield back on. Now, this looks amazing. Let me stress that, how amazing this looks. And once you have it on there, check this out. You can shoot the projectile. There you go. It comes out pretty fast, actually. So guys, what do you think? We have our Mikey. We have our Krang droids. And let me just say that if you've collected other Krang droids, you can have a whole army of Krang droids being destroyed by the turtle mech. Now, here, don't forget, you can put all four turtles in there. And with all four turtles, all you gotta do is do the same thing. Just twist this out. We got a, a whole bin full of our turtles toys. Here's our purple Donnie. Pop this guy right in here. He's gonna match the color scheme. Remember, just have him as if you're gonna sit him down, put his arms up, and boom, he's good to go. Get our Mikey. Now you can twist the rail a little bit if you need to, or push it up and down, whatever. Let's get Raph. We're gonna keep his size in his hands. Open it up a little bit, put him right here. Boom, and let's get a Leo. The blue Leo going. And there you have it. Look how amazing that looks. Let's grab some of our other Krang droids. I got this one, which actually does articulate. All 
All right, well, that's a good amount right there. Okay, I'm gonna throw a Master Splinter. Straight up cold chilling right there. And we can have all sorts of fun. We'll have these droids getting ready to fight. We'll have Master Splinter right here. And then we're gonna have the turtle mech get, getting ready to unleash some fury right here. And this is where the fun begins. It is the ones who are known as the turtles. Booyah kasha, dude! Foot came off. Alright guys, thank you so much for hanging out with us here today. Hope you enjoyed this as much as we did. I can't tell you how exciting it is to finally have the turtle mech. I'm gonna tell you, go out and get it now before they sell out. Because if it's at Ross or Didi's discount, it's not gonna be there for long. They have a limited amount and at 15 bucks, you cannot beat it. We were willing to buy it at 45, but we're waiting for a sale. Now's the time, go get it now. I want to thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for watching and supporting our channel. Please continue to watch our videos, like them, subscribe. Let us know what you think in the comment section below and I look forward to seeing you on our next video. Thanks for watching Super Channel G.